everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is ashley also known as ashford plays on my socials and we are back with another realistic mods video while i was organizing and cleaning my mods folder for the new expansion pack i fell into a rabbit hole and instead of cleaning my mods folder i added even more mods and all the mods that i downloaded were related to food so i decided why not make a video about it and show you guys all the mods that i downloaded as you can tell by the intro i'm gonna be using two new sims for today's video this is yume tanaka and her boyfriend Kiyoshi Ito. These two sims are featured in one of my series on my channel. It's called Yume and Komorebi. It's fairly new. I only have one episode out, but I am in the process of recording the second episode, so please stay tuned for that, and we're just going to jump right into this video. The first mod I'm going to be showing in today's video is the Made in Brazil Water Filters by Tuds, and if you follow me on my other social accounts, you've probably already seen this mod multiple times, but it's a really cool and simple mod, and what it does is it just adds another option for your sims to grab water from and so all you do is just click on the water filter and there should be this get water interaction you'll click on that and your sims will be able to grab water but here is what that interaction looks like and now Yumi's heading to the table to drink her water there's two different variations of this filter we have this regular version and it comes with both clay and ceramic swatches but it also comes with this cute cactus version and I love the little cactus detailing on it. I think it's so adorable, but here are the swatches for that filter as well. The next one I'm going to be showing is the custom food interactions mod by the food group and as the name implies it adds custom food recipes to your game. In order to access this mod you'll need to click on any fridge or stove and you should see a new custom food interaction. However you'll still need to download individual recipes to go with this mod. There's a handful of creators that make custom recipes. The main two creators I'll be focusing on for today's video is Ice Moon Moon and Around the Sims 4. I'll cover Around the Sims 4 a little bit later on today. If you click on the custom food interaction, you'll see a bunch of new interactions like grab custom snack, cook custom meal, bake custom food, and then make custom gourmet food. We're gonna click on this interaction just to show a few of Ice Moon Moon's recipes. And so we have like caviar here, filet mignon, baked lobster tail, very bougie recipes for your sims. But for today's video, we're gonna keep it simple and we're actually gonna grab from the custom snack menu. What we're gonna do is actually grab some overnight oats. This is from the overnight oats collection by Ice Moon Moon. We're gonna grab the banana choco overnight oats for Yume. So she's going to the fridge and she's grabbing the overnight oats. Oh y'all, look at Ichigo. So if you don't know, this is Ichigo. This is Yume's pet cat. She has another one named Mei. Hello. Not her being all the way up. Y'all, she's floating. <laughs> she's floating. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is May. This is her other cat. They are a handful, as you can see. But anyways, this is what the choco banana oats look like. And I love the texture of these. They blend in very well with EA's recipes. Not her eating that in two scoops. All right. Well, that's fine we'll move on to the next mod and this is actually like a sister mod to the food interactions mod and this is the custom drinks interactions also made by the food group and you're able to access the custom drinks via any bar and so this custom bar cart is made by ravishing i actually covered this in a previous mods related video i have that video linked in the top right hand corner but if you click on the bar cart you'll see this new custom drink interaction you'll click on that and then you'll see three new interactions buy custom drinks make custom cocktail make custom drinks but what we're gonna do is buy a custom drink. Now I will say the only down part about this mod is that you may will literally talk to the bar cart. Boosh. Like, Una. do y'all see this? But after she's done talking to her imaginary friend, we'll have this menu pop up and she can grab any custom drink she wants. Again, you have to manually add these to your game. So it looks like I have the functional beer bottles collection from Ice Moon Moon. And then it looks like I also have the beach cocktails collection by Ice Moon Moon as well. And we're gonna grab this Malibu sunset because it looks really cute. And it looks like something I would order myself. Thanks for ordering. The drink you may purchase can be found in her inventory. All right, gonna have her drink it. Look at the texture of this drink. It looks so good and detailed. I love it. Oh, looks like she got a buff from that. Beachy Affair. I didn't know this came with buffs. From having beach cocktails. Cocktails on the beach in the summer. See, now this one will be perfect for Solani. I can't get over May floating in the air, y'all. Like, this is taking me out. I'm pretty sure it's because of this cat tree. 
But speaking of custom drinks made by Ice Moon Moon, there is another mod I want to show you guys, and this is the Martini Shaker. And what this mod allows you to do is make custom martinis, either from the shaker or from the bar. And you'll be able to access the Martini Shaker from the kitchen appliances section. But what you'll do is you'll click on the Martini Shaker, and then you'll have this option to fill with spirits. It costs 20 simoleons. And then you'll have a new interaction, and this is to mix and stir martinis. And you'll have a variety of martinis to choose from. Like we have apple cider martini. I think that's perfect for the holiday season. We have green apple teeny, a dirty martini. Y'all, I'm so excited about this mod. Um, we're gonna make a dirty martini though. Oh, still <laughs> And this is what it looks like. Y'all, look at the little olives. I'm so in love with this mod because if you did not know i am a martini girl like my go-to cocktail is either like a lemon drop martini or a pomegranate martini but as i said before you're also able to access this with the custom drinks interaction so you'll click on custom drinks make custom drinks and then the list of martinis also pops up here as well so if you don't want to have that martini shaker in your home it's totally fine you'll still be able to access it via the bar there's one more mod I want to show you guys, and this does require the custom drink interaction. And this is custom canned sodas made by Oh My Sims. And this mod allows you to access canned sodas via the fridge, the cooler, or a vending machine. And I will say, unfortunately, I wasn't able to access the drinks via the fridge. It might be the fact that this is a custom fridge, but I don't like the fridges that come with EA. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to access this drink via the cooler or the vending machine, which is totally fine. I feel like that's a lot more realistic for me anyways. But I'm gonna put down a cooler and I'm gonna use this one from the outdoor treat pack. And I might go ahead and put down this vending machine here as well. But when you click on the cooler, you'll see the custom drink menu pop up and those sodas will show up. We have Coke, Fanta, Sprite, and Welch's. I'm gonna pick Sprite and you'll see you may grab it from the cooler. And this is exactly why I would prefer the cooler over the fridge. It just looks really cool. But here's what that sprite looks like. I don't know why she just put the can in the dishwasher. Oh, she needs to pee. <laughs> it's because of all the drinks she's been drinking. But we're going to have her grab from the vending machine too. And this time we're just going to do a Coke. So here is what that Coke looks like. Again, it is in Simlish and it looks so good. I love the texture on this. And I think it's perfect for like outdoor events, like pool parties, camping, picnics. And I don't know why it just turned into a bowl, but you know what? I'm, I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next creator I'm gonna be showcasing. And this is around The Sims. And we're gonna start off with functional teapots. Again, I've covered this mod a few times, but I wanna cover it again because I am obsessed with this mod. I've been looking for something like this for quite some time. And the best part about this mod is that it does not require My Wedding Stories. If you don't know, My Wedding Stories came with a new feature where you're able to serve tea, but I am 99% sure that this is base game friendly. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it is, but I could be wrong. But there's different variants you can choose from. I currently have the cast iron teapot for Yume. And also depending on the teapot, you can make one serving, two servings, four servings, or six servings. I'm just gonna make two servings of tea for Yume to show you guys. Okay, so it looks like Yume is actually drunk. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the Sunset Malibu in the martini she had. Oh, she got a buff from the martini. Shaken, not stirred. How do you like your drink? <laughs> That's actually really cute. I didn't know that the custom drinks came with buffs, but I do want to point out that those custom alcoholic beverages are compatible with base mental alcohol if you have that mod in your game. So your Sims can actually get drunk from those alcoholic beverages. But she's gonna serve the tea. Girl, hold on, let me just remove these. Like, I don't need you feeling dazed during this mod showcase. Okay, I'm gonna put the drink in her inventory and then have her drink it. Work for kill, she starts in an hour. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, I'm not even using him for the showcase video anyways, but as you can see here, she's drinking her tea. And again, if you have a base mental alcohol in your game, your Sims will actually get addicted to caffeine. Just keep that in mind when your Sims are drinking tea. 
Next are the edible junk food and chocolates also made by Around the Sims. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It just adds a bunch of junk food for your Sims to eat, which I appreciate because right now, I don't think we really have junk food in the Sims. And so for the edible junk food, you're able to access this from the fridge or build by, but for the edible chocolate, you have to access it via build by. So to grab these foods, what you'll need to do is type in ATS4, which is the acronym for Around the Sims 4, and those recipes should pop up. But we have three variants of Pringles, and then we also have a case of Oreos and then a container of Nutella. As for the edible chocolate, it comes with a lot more variations, but I only have these three variations in my game, so I'm going to put them down on the table for you guys to see them but what I love about the edible chocolate is that you can actually change the packaging to whatever preference you like so we have M&Ms, peanut M&Ms, um, are these Reese's Pieces? I don't know what that is it looks like Reese's Pieces and then we have Skittles but if you don't like Simlish there's also an English version so you will be able to customize it to English as well what is this treats i've actually never heard of that before but we're gonna change it back to minimums and then same thing for this version we have kit kat reese's and then a hershey's bar and then like the english version of that and then this little candy bar here snickers is that almond joy i don't know i don't know what half of this stuff is but trust and believe i will be grabbing that snickers <laughs> gonna go in live mode now and i think we'll have you may actually we'll have her eat the nutella so you guys can see what that looks like i feel like the other ones are pretty self-explanatory and it looks like she's just eating it out with a spoon y'all i love me some nutella i used to do this all the time as a kid <laughs> but this actually leads me to my next mod hi not ichigo begging oh my gosh why is she so dizzy? I don't get it. Oh, Kiyoshi's calling. Hey, you made it's me, Kiyoshi. Love is in the air, don't you think? We should take this opportunity to go on a date. Oh, I really wish I could do this with Kiyoshi, but we, we need to go over these mods. So sorry, Kiyoshi. But as I was saying before, this leads me to my next mod. And this is the alternative picnic baskets. And this mod adds a bunch of variations to the picnic basket that comes with cottage living. So yes, cottage living is required for this mod. But just like the edible junk food and chocolates, you'll be able to quickly access this by typing in ATS4. And the picnic baskets will show up here. I don't have all the variations. There's a lot more that comes with this mod mod but i'm just gonna show these two for now you can live drag the junk food into the picnic basket and so now when they click on the picnic basket they can either set up picnic pack food or empty baskets and as you can see here those items that i dragged into the picnic baskets are there to grab for some reason this variant of pringles will not go in the picnic basket but that that's fine <laughs> That is fine. So now we're gonna move on to the next creator and this is Ani. And Ani has two mods I'm gonna show for today. The first one is the recipe pack and then the second is the takoyaki hot pan. And just like the martini shaker I showed earlier, you're able to access both of these mods in the kitchen appliances section. You'll need to look for like a brown paper bag. This is the recipe pack and then if you scroll a little bit further, you should see the takoyaki hot pan. And I'll put that right here. And so here's a few swatches that come with this grocery bag. I usually just stick to the normal brown swatch. And then for the takoyaki hot pan, you will be required to have the Snowy Escape expansion pack for this to work. In order to access the custom food that comes with this mod, you'll need to download the recipes individually. And if you have cottage living, if you have like the simple living lot challenge, this also comes with groceries that your Sims will need to buy in order to cook those meals. So we're gonna click on the buy groceries option. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of ingredients that your Sims will need to buy. But for now, we're just gonna click on the cook interaction. As you see, here's a bunch of new categories to choose from. We have like drinks, meals, grilled foods, gourmet meals. I think we're gonna choose just the regular meals option. As you can see here, we have avocado egg toast, grilled salmon, dankatsu curry, caprice open sandwich. Like a lot of my favorite recipes come from this mod. I think we're gonna cook the grilled salmon set for Yume. In my mind, this is like her favorite meal to make. She's cooking her meal. Now she's enjoying her meal that she just cooked and this is what it looks like. It looks super good. Oh, not her getting a refined palette quirk. Oh my gosh. I don't have time for that. All right, we're gonna move on to the takoyaki hot pot now. And you have two interactions to choose from. You can either make takoyaki for one or takoyaki with others because it's just her. We're just gonna do one and we have three variants to choose from. We have spicy takoyaki, negi takoyaki, and then original. 
And I love the animation for this. I'm pretty sure it might be the same exact animation for the hot pot, but I just appreciate having more recipes for my Sims to choose from because just having like the recipes that come with EA can get very boring very quickly, especially if you've been playing The Sims 4 for years. Not May staring at the food, Joel. <laughs> She's like, mm, that looks pretty good. Can I get a bite? <laughs> Let me put this in the trash. All right, she's eating it with an audience. And technically, she's currently missing work. If you don't know, Yume is a professional figure skater. This is a custom mod. Um, if you want the link to this, it's in the first episode of Yume and Kamurabi. But yeah, she's currently missing work right now. All right, we're moving on to the next creator. And this is Little Bobub. And I'm going to be showcasing three different mods made by this creator. I've already covered all three of these mods, but I do want to touch on them again because I still get a lot of questions pertaining to these mods and also two of the mods tie into a new mod I'll be showcasing today. The first one I'm going to be showing is Granny's Cookbook and just like the Ani's recipe pack you will access this via the kitchen appliances but there are two different add-ons that come with this mod as well and this is what I get a lot of questions on. I'll have this linked in the description down below but you can also download the tin can and then the cookbook stand. I usually use these two rather than the book because they're cuter <laughs> but they all have the same exact function and so I get a lot of comments saying that people can't see any of the recipes when they use the granny's cookbook mod and that's because of two reasons. One, you have to download the recipes individually and two, your sims might not have the skill needed to cook a certain recipe. What you'll do is you'll click on the granny's cookbook mod, you'll have a few interactions pop up, you can grab a quick snack, you can cook a custom meal, or you can even name the cookbook if you'd like. I'm not gonna have you may cook anything from this, but we're gonna go into the meals category. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of new recipes like French onion soup. I love me some French onion soup. Um, we have Salisbury steak, sushi, mussels. Uh, let's see what else we can get from this barbecue oh she doesn't have a grill so she's not able to access this but we have like barbecue smoked brisket barbecue ribs and baked beans yeah i have like a bunch of custom desserts in here as well so you can actually grab a hot drink or a snack from this book as well and the reason why i bring up hot drinks is because little bobub also makes a bunch of custom drinks and these are compatible with the home barista and hot chocolate machine and i covered these in a recent mods video i have the link for that in the top right corner but for the home barista machine you will need get together in order to access this mod but it's basically like a replacement for that large ass espresso machine that comes with get together you know the one that requires like the coffee grinder now you no longer need that and you have like this cute little small machine as well and it's also live draggable so definitely a lot more convenient but these two mods come in hand in hand because you can be able to make the custom coffees that little boba has and then you can also make hot chocolate that comes with the hot chocolate mod as well but we're gonna move on to the next creator because this is where these two mods will come in hand and so this is a new creator for me this is tiana sims and i'm gonna be showing off two mods by this creator we have the french press and then we have the tiana sims cookbook and we're gonna start off with the french press first so i can show you guys the compatibility of this machine with this one and so here are a few swatches of this french press and i'm actually gonna go for like the stainless steel one because if you don't know, I love me a good French press. I have one on my own that I use all the time whenever I'm not at Starbucks. And so I was very, very excited to see this in game, to see someone made a mod for this. And then to top it off, be able to also use the custom recipes that come with Little Bobub's machine. I love when creators make their mods compatible with other creators. Like I'm here for it. But in order to use this mod, it does require Tiana Sims coffee time mod. And it just basically adds functionality to this French press. So you'll be able to make either a pot of coffee or just a single cup and it also has like an optional add-on where you can add the coffee bean ingredient to your game so if you have like the simple living lot challenge you're required to have the coffee beans in order to make the coffee so another thing about tiana sims is they made their own custom coffees as well so we just have like a bunch of coffee recipes in my game now and i love it like i said before i am someone that loves and enjoys coffee i drink it all day every day so the more recipes the merrier and again this is 100% compatible with the home barista machine by little bobub so we're seeing like a bunch of recipes by little bobub displayed on the french press as well so we're actually gonna make a recipe made by tiana sims i think this irish coffee might be by that creator so we're gonna have you may make it and so as you see here the coffee is currently brewing 
and it looks very good. Like, it looks very seamless. I oh, love it. Longus. Girl, what's wrong with you? Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, she went straight for the table. But this is what that Irish ah, coffee recipe looks bushy, like. Bushy. <laughs> She's cramping right now, y'all, but we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna ignore it. This is what the coffee looks like. Girl! Don't you just love when your sims don't act right during the mod review video? <laughs> and now we're gonna move on to the cookbook. And you can never have too many cookbooks in your game. But just like the other two cookbooks, you access it via the kitchen appliances. And again, you'll have to download all of the recipes individually. <laughs> I sound like a broken record now, but again you can never have too many cookbooks in your game so we have desserts meals canning baking i think we're gonna go into the meals and the one thing i love about tiana's cookbook is it comes with some some southern style food like we got cornbread we have a seafood broil buttermilk fried chicken pizza margarita <laughs> i'm very excited about the seafood boy so i'm gonna have you cook that for us excuse me Oh my gosh okay so her best friend destiny just showed up unannounced she's actually using this mixer made by sixum i'm not i'm not going over <laughs> this mod in today's video but i will have the link to the video where i did cover this in the top right corner for y'all looks like she's honestly making like maybe cupcakes from it it's basically like an override for that big ass cupcake machine that comes with um i think like get to work yeah oh there it is yeah she made herself a cupcake one cupcake. Thanks, girl. Thanks for making them for everybody else. Is you may done? Oh, she is. Oh, y'all look at it. Does that look good? Oh, I'm shook, y'all. The way that I'm gonna use the hell out of this recipe. Like, I love me a good seafood boil. Y'all, Yume has been eating so good during this video. Homegirl has ate like, what, six, seven meals now? But yeah, this is what the seafood boil looks like. And so the final creator I'm going to be showcasing in today's video is Somer and Severinka and I have a bunch and I mean a bunch of mods to showcase by this creator but in order to access all the mods I'm showing you will need the cookbook SNS mod but you will be able to access it in the kitchen appliances. It is written in English which I prefer having Simlish in my game so I usually like to use this swatch because this isn't simlish but the best part about this mod is that you don't even have to have the cookbook out on your kitchen to even get full access to this mod you're able to access all the recipes i'm about to show you from like the fridge the stove even the bar so again you don't have to have this cookbook out and even better you can live drag this into your sims inventory if you like but with this mod you can do a variety of things so we're going to start off with functional baby food and this allows you to have new drinks parades yogurts and cottage cheeses for your toddler sims we have different types of juices like apple grape orange peach to choose from again we have different purees to choose from i'm just gonna grab like a random one let's do pumpkin and then the same thing for yogurts and then the same thing for cottage cheese i'm not gonna be able to show every single recipe but this mod does come with 34 different edible products for your toddlers to choose from and another thing to point out is that adult sims can be able to eat from these meals as well it's not just limited to toddler sims but because Kiyoshi's here, I'm just gonna have him grab them all out. So here's what that drink looks like. I think he's gonna grab the puree now. And then I think he's gonna grab the yogurt. He is. And then he put on the floor. Don't know why he did that. <laughs> Okay, this is about as good as I can make it look, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's very detailed. So if you are more of like an alpha simmer and you want more detailed food in your game, Soma and Severinka is going to be for you because listen, I am a Maxis match girl. I am. But sometimes the food that EA makes be looking very blocky and unappealing. So <laughs> I appreciate Soma and Severinka's mod. We're gonna move on to the buy catalog. 
and there's a lot of options to choose from so you can buy products from here so we have like baby tea infant formula powder whey protein and i'll show this a little bit later on if we go down to boxes of sweets we have a bunch of different chocolates to choose from and this is from the chocolate covered strawberries mod by Slimica Severinka. and here are the different variants for it but you're also able to access the box of chocolates from the fridge if you go to the buy catalog here and so we're just gonna buy like this red heart box and just like that it's already accessible i'm tired of him putting the food on the floor <laughs> I'm so tired of that, but as you can see here, your Sims instantly have access to the chocolate strawberries. We're gonna have him grab one. Just to show you guys what they look like. And look how detailed they look. Oh, I love that mod so much. But your Sims also gets a flirty buff from eating a chocolate covered strawberry. Romance is in the air. I want to eat this exquisite and delicious dessert in the sleep. <laughs> that is adorable. But yeah, that's perfect for love day or just basically like having your Sims give their loved ones a gift. And I just love the detailing on this. All right, let's move on to the next mod. Oh, fruits and vegetables. So I'm not gonna be able to link every single recipe I have in my game. What I'm gonna suggest you guys to do is just go on Somic and Severinka's Patreon page and just scroll. Scroll and see which recipes you want in your game, but I'll go over which ones I have. I have apples, bananas, dragon fruits. I have this fruit platter. You're able to grab like a bunch of fruit from this. I might actually have Kiyoshi grab that real quickly for us. Oh. And like you see there, he, in don't put down the floor. Oh my gosh, all right. This is what it looks like. But you're able to grab either an apple or a banana from this tray. And I love the look of it. Like it's so nice and detailed. But going back to the fruits and vegetables I have, I have like mangoes, oranges, pears, pomegranates, sweet cherries, but we're gonna move on to alcohol. We're gonna move on to the liquor. Cause this, <laughs> I sound like an alcoholic y'all. That's not good at all, but we're gonna move on to my favorite portion of this video. And that is the Functional Alcohol by Slomika Severinka. So we have functional beer, whiskey, cognac, vodka, champagne, wine. Like we have it all, <laughs> we have it all. And I'll have all the links to all the alcohol in the description for you guys. Don't you worry, I got you. But I do wanna show off the beer. So I'll have Kiyoshi grab that out. And of course he's gonna put it on the floor. <laughs> but here's what that beer looks like it's not in simlish but i honestly don't mind i love the detailing of it so much and again if you have base mental alcohol in your game your sims will get drunk from this so he's gonna grab a can of beer and drink it <laughs> so. i'll have you may grab a can with him but Ew. I think having like a case of beer like this is perfect for like a pool party or cookouts. Just like Ew. when you have like a bunch of Sims together and you don't have to make Ew. like individual drinks for them. Room. Why did he put the can on the floor? I'm so tired of Kyoshi. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get him to get my favorite alcohol, which is wine and not just any wine. I do love me a Moscato, but I'm not seeing that option here. So we're just gonna get the Lamonts. And I know y'all saw that price. I know y'all saw that price. <laughs> it's expensive as hell. It's 900 simoleons. So this mod is for your bougie sims. Like it's not affordable for all, unfortunately. Dota vap. <laughs> I'm so weak at Ichigo. But she's gonna grab the wine out of the fridge. All right. And what I love about this and like the other functional alcohols, you can grab a serving from it. So we'll have her grab a drink. And as you can see here, she instantly grabbed a glass oh. of wine. But speaking of the bar cart, that leads me to the next mod I wanna show you guys by Sonic and Severinka. It's getting dark outside, it's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> But this is the Bar Cocktails by Summer and Severinka. And so if you click on any bar and then you click on this make drink category, you'll see a bunch of new custom drinks here. And this not only includes all the new bar cocktails like a Blue Hawaii, Blue Lagoon, Gentle Lily, Gentle Romance, but also includes like all the functional alcohol I showed earlier, like Hennessy, Champagne, Martini, Wine. Now my Sims, like they were already drinking before, but they definitely gonna be drinking now. 
but I do want to keep on the theme of like hosting parties and such because if you are a veteran on my channel you guys know I love hosting parties I love having my sims host events and so this next mod is gonna be perfect for that and this is the functional drinks tray so I know you guys probably already seen this mod all over TikTok all just all over everywhere but I do want to cover this mod because this actually goes hand in hand with another mod I showed in a previous mods video and this mod is by Little Miss Sam and this is their improved spa day tablet so there's a bunch of swatches that comes with Somic and Severinka's tray. I'm gonna go with this stainless steel one. But the reason why I mention the improved spotted tablet by Little Miss Sam is because this adds all the EA bar drinks that come in the game to the spa day tablet. So of course you will be required to have spa day in your game, but now you're not just limited to making, I think it's like the fizzy fruity drink that comes with spa day, but now you're able to serve like all types of drinks. Like you can even serve bubble tea on this. Somic and Severinka has an add-on that adds the same functionality to their trays. So if you don't want to make like a drink made by Somic and Severinka and you want something made by EA, you will be able to do that with this mod. So we have like serve tea, serve liquor, drinks, coffee. And the reason why I like that is because the spa day tablet's cute, but this is just giving very sleek and modern in my opinion. So I'm gonna have her serve bubble tea on this. We're just gonna do strawberry matcha. Then I'll have her empty the tray and show a recipe from Somic and Severinka. So here's what the bubble teas look like. I'll have her empty the tray. And then we'll click on the serve drinks category and choose a custom drink by Somic and Severinka. We're gonna do, let's just do rose. Let's just do rosé. All right, there's the rosé. And the best thing about the functional champagne is that you can see like the actual bubbles in the drink. I love this creator so much, y'all. Like when I tell y'all I downloaded every single mod in their game, I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, now her feeling sad, inexplicable sadness, just sad for seemingly no good reason. You know what? That's very, that's very real. <laughs> I, I felt that. Okay, so I just showed y'all like a bunch of liquor that you can add to your game, but now you need a place to store the liquor, right? This is where the next mod comes in hand. And these are functional stands. And what I love about this is that it adds more shelf life to not only all the functional alcohol that comes with Soma Severinka, but also food as well. Not just EA's food, but like the custom recipes I showed earlier in today's video. So again, you'll go to kitchen appliances, and you'll see like a bunch of variants for this. And so I put a bunch of my favorite stands out to show you guys how this mod works. I'm very excited about this one. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say that get to work might be required for these. I could be wrong, but I do want to put that disclaimer out there. So like I said before, these trays right here adds more shelf life to your custom food. So you can put cakes here and they'll last a lot longer outside the fridge. But the main two ones I want to show off are these two. So we're going to have Kiyoshi go back to the fridge and we're going to have him buy some alcohol. All right. Is he drunk? He is. I'm so weak. Okay, so we have the wine and we have the champagne out. And they're live draggable, right? Watch this. Do y'all see that? <laughs> You're able to put the wine bottles in the ice bowl. And like I said, it increases the shelf life for this. Listen, if I knew about this show, I wouldn't be using that tacky ash champagne bowl that comes with my wedding stories. Y'all know the one I'm talking about that you can do toast that. Like this is just so much better to me because you can now click on it and have your sons grab a drink from it. And now they can enjoy like a nice cool glass of champagne or wine. But even better, they don't even have to put them in this ice bowl. You can just put them out on your kitchen counter like this. Like, do y'all see that? Is that not cool? All right, I have two more mods I'm gonna show you guys. So the first one is the functional blender and protein shake. And this is what that blender looks like. Again, you can access it from the kitchen appliances, but we're gonna have Kyoshi mix the shake. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of variants to choose from. We can make like blueberry protein shake, a peach protein shake, even like a strawberry and vanilla one. And again, if you have the Simple Living Lot Challenge, you will be required to purchase the whey protein, which comes with this mod. But as you can see here, Kiyoshi is currently making him a protein shake. And once the protein shake is done mixing, it will end up in his inventory and he'll be able to drink it. Uh. 
Now you're choking on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. With this mod, the Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack is required. But the best part about this mod is that if you have your Sims drink it before they work out, the protein shake will make your Sims gain muscle mass a lot quicker. And so there's there's functions to it. It's not just a cute little protein shake. Like it actually has a function to it, which I appreciate so much. So now we're gonna move on to the final mod for today's video. Oh my gosh. Now we're gonna move on to the final mod for today's video. And this is the functional set for sake. And yes, it's, <laughs> it's related to alcohol. But if you scroll down, you should be able to find this gift set for sake and so this is what it looks like and I think it's very fitting for my Yumei Konrebi series but we're gonna have Kiyoshi open up the gift set and so as you can see here we have glasses of sake available for Yumei and his friends and you know what I'm gonna have everybody grab a cup of sake since it's the last mod for today oh I think um I think Destiny went home. That's fine though. <sighs> okay. <laughs> But anyways, that is it for today's video. That's all the mods I want to show you guys. This is probably like my biggest mods review video yet, but that's because I downloaded a bunch of mods. But if you do want to download these mods for yourself, I have the Masterfuls link for this in the description down below. So make sure to check it out. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I would very much appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next mods review video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.